Hello everybody, my name is Tony and I'm here with the Everyday Counts program here in North Vancouver. And today, today's yoga class is focused on movement from a bed. So I have some bolsters and props behind me to kind of simulate being propped up in bed. So you can go and pause this video, make sure that wherever you're doing this from, you can see me and hear me clearly and then we'll get going. So I'm going to settle back, have my legs out, and you can have support under your head. Just make sure that you're in a place that you can be comfortable for a while. We're going to be doing a lot of the class from this position, and then we'll do some from lying down all the way. So settling in. And there's no right and wrong here. So if you prefer to start with, to have uh, something under your legs to help your lower back or to have another position with your legs, please go ahead. We'll take a big breath in together. Exhale it out. Uh -huh. We'll take a few breaths just like that. Mm -hmm. And allow those breaths to kind of give you permission to be here. So all of the concerns, all of the worries, see if you can let them be just a little bit further away. And we settle into noticing the support underneath us. Back of your head, shoulders, your back body, your seat all the way down your legs maybe to your heels. And notice all the different softnesses and textures that you can detect with your body. And then on the next exhale, we're going to see if we can consciously deepen our relaxation into that support. Mm -hmm. We're going to take a little moment to check in here. Let the breath come back to you, the easiest breath you can find, whatever that is for you. There's no magic way of breathing. Maybe soften your gaze or close your eyes if you want to and just notice how you're feeling in this moment. It's important to take in all this information. So just simply notice how you feel instead of the stories that go along with that, the kind of why I feel this way, just notice. Notice the energy level that you have in your body. Notice if there's a lot on your mind and what that is without pushing it away, but just being curious. Notice any emotions that are present. What's there resting in your heart space? Again, without any judgment, just simply being aware. And then we take our awareness when you're ready into your physical body. So filling your body up with your awareness from the crown of your head to the soles of your feet, tips of your fingertips. Notice places in your body that are familiar, that maybe are tender or you have discomfort. And just acknowledge that again without the stories as to why. We do like the stories. And then notice places in your body that are less familiar, places that are quieter, places that you don't normally send your awareness to, places that may feel more ease or more comfort. For example, if you have one knee that is particularly tender, then notice the other knee, notice sensations there. And it might be challenging or new 
to pay attention to places that we don't normally. And start to notice places that hold tension or tightness. And if there's anything you can do here to release some tension, maybe a little shift in your body or a few breaths, consciously relaxing as much tension as you possibly can. Yeah, nice. And then from there, we're going to simply notice our breath as it is. Maybe breathing in and out through your nose might feel comfortable to you today. And the central nervous system loves it when we breathe in and out through our nose if it's comfortable. Because the breaths get a little longer and that soothes the stress response. So these longer breaths in and out when you're ready. And again, we all breathe differently. So just the next inhale a little longer than the last, even just a fraction and the exhale the same. Without bringing any tension, any forcing into the breath, just slightly longer breaths in and out. And that'll be different for all of us. And then when you're ready, start to steady that breath from the bottom of the inhale all the way up to the top and from the top of the exhale all the way down to the bottom. See if you can smooth the breath as much as possible. And there'll be some places that it's more challenging than others. No big deal. We're not looking for perfect. So we have these longer, smoother, softer breaths. And bringing in after that steadiness of breath. And so we have these longer, smoother breaths in and out. Mm -hmm. And then when you're ready, we'll start to bring a quality of softness into the breath. So this is a quality of ease, letting go of any strain in the breath, even if the breath gets a little smaller. So we have longer, smoother, and now softer breaths in and out. So maybe letting go of some efforting in the breath that may have crept in. Mm -hmm. Get familiar with this rhythm. You can even count, if you like, how long your inhales take all the way to the top and how long your exhales take all the way to the bottom. We all breathe and count differently, so there's no magic number, but just getting familiar with your breath. And these longer, smoother, softer breaths, I'll keep reminding you to come back to. And all of the movements we do from now on, we should be able to keep the longer, smoother, and softer breaths as we're moving. So if at any time the breaths get short, choppy, or you find yourself holding the breath, then please cease the movement, come back to this familiar breath now, and then we can uh, restart the movement once the breath is established. But the breath is always primary, the movement always secondary. And that way we always know if the body is comfortable because the breath will feel longer, smoother, and softer. 
And it's a lot to think about. I'll keep reminding you, no big deal. So from here, I want you to settle into particularly your seat and all the support underneath your legs. Longer, smoother, softer breath. And then imagine through the crown of your head, you just reach up just a little as if the vertebrae in your spine just get a millimeter of space. Longer, smoother, softer breath. Shoulders soft and away from the ears and the collarbones comfortably wide. Which for most of us means drawing the shoulders back just a little. If any tension builds up in your body, release that. Come back to the longer, smoother, softer breaths. And whether your head is supported going into the first movement. This is the inhale and the exhale. We're going to turn to face one side just gently. Inhale back to center and exhale over to the other side. Now more is not better in yoga. Keep going side to side. And if at any time you feel dizzy or it's too much, then come back to stillness and focus on your breath. The movement is from the collarbones upwards. So noticing if your shoulders wants to lift or get in on the journey and see if you can keep the rest of your body as stable and as still as possible. And even glance over those shoulders or even back behind you, depending on if you have that support underneath your head or not. Gentle breaths, soft movement guided by the breath. Next time we come to center or in your own time, we'll stay. On the next inhale, we'll lift the chin. Exhale, draw that chin down towards the chest. Inhaling up, exhaling down. And again, only as much or as little movement as feels good for you, but moving with the breath. It allows our body to feel safe and naturally to open up rather than pushing too much to start with and the connective tissue and muscles simply contracting. And they contract to make sure that the body is safe, which is why moving softly, gently is a great place to start. Mm -hmm. One more. And when you're ready, coming back to center. Beautiful. I'm going to take that right hand. You can prop it up on a pillow if you like. We're just going to circle through that right wrist. Keep the fingers spread to start with. And imagine that you're moving through honey, so it's a slow, gentle movement. And if you want to, now bring the fingers and thumbs in so you've got a soft fist. And notice if that changes sensation. Always adjusting and adapting things to feel better for you. Go back in the opposite direction with those soft fists. And then we'll spread those fingers out. And again, as if you're swishing through water very slowly. Mm -hmm. And we'll take that hand down beside you. And from here, you're going to draw uh, circles with that right shoulder. You can let the hand be supported or you can lift up whatever's comfortable for you. No right and wrong here. The rest of your body and your neck is still, and we're just circling as best as we can with that support behind us in the shoulder. Mm -hmm. Longer, smoother, softer breaths. And then we'll go around in the opposite direction.
Mm -hmm. Outside, we always do our favorite direction first, so this direction may feel a little awkward. Nice. And the next exhale, we're going to settle that down and turn the right palm up, supported or not. Bending from the elbow now on the inhale, we're going to turn that palm up towards the shoulder. Exhale, flip the palm and send it down. And don't worry about the angle that that's happening. It can be out towards the side, it can be in front, no big deal, whatever feels more comfortable for you. Again, we're working on moving with the breath. And so if at any time you need to rest, then please go ahead. Mm -hmm. You can stay here, moving from the elbow, or the next time we flip the palm, moving from the shoulder, inhaling up, exhaling down. It doesn't have to be a very big movement. And again, it can be any angle that feels good for you. Shoulders, elbows, wrists, fingers and thumbs, nice and soft through the joints, as if, again, you're moving through honey. You can take the arm high, you can keep it low, whatever feels best for you. Nice. The next time we take that hand down, it'll stay. Any movement you need to soften tension, go ahead. And then that left hand is coming out to the side, supported on your elbow or not, almost softly moving through the left wrist. Longer, smoother, softer breaths, being gentle with yourself and simply noticing sensation. Stay here or take soft fists, moving through the wrist again and notice if that changes things. And then we'll take that round in the opposite direction. When you're ready, you can always rest. And if something doesn't feel quite right to you, either stop or adjust it or adapt it so it does feel better. There's no right and wrong here. Sparkling those fingers and thumb out. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to take that hand down, supported or not, circling through the left shoulder. And again, if you've got support underneath that shoulder, moving as best as you can. Doesn't have to look a particular way. This is about how it feels in your body. The breath is longer, smoother and softer. And rather than the size of the movement, we're more concerned about getting it as fluid as possible doesn't have to be perfect we're not interested in perfect we're just trying our best round in the opposite direction when you're ready mm -hmm. and then pausing at the end of the exhale Upper shoulder and arm is soft. I'm going to turn that left palm up, bending from the elbow, inhaling up, turn the palm down on the exhale. And again, this can be any angle that feels comfortable in your body. We're moving with the breath, so it's a flowing movement. And this is a great place to stay right here, moving through the forearm. You want to add on, moving through the shoulder. Keep it small to start with, shoulders, elbows, wrists, fingers and thumbs. That can be as high or as low as feels comfortable for you. Joints are easy, shoulders, elbows, wrists, fingers and thumbs if you're moving through water. Again, it's the fluidity that we're interested in. Another two, unless you're resting. Always moving with the breath, those longer, smoother, softer breaths. Nicely done. And the hands come down. 
going to take the hands on towards the belly or towards the um, pelvis, whatever's comfortable for you, settling the shoulders down. With the breath, on the inhale, we're going to open those arms out. On the exhale, we're going to turn the palms in. Now notice as you're doing this, those longer, smoother, softer breaths. On the inhale, consider breathing into the front body as if you're opening up, exhaling as the breath leaves, there's a softening and letting go. If you want to add on into this movement, on the inhale, as we take the arms out, consider drawing your shoulder blades towards each other and we get this gentle opening through the chest. And on the exhale, the shoulder blades slide away. And you may even start to feel those collarbones softening in. As you bring the elbows up, that can help exaggerate that movement. On the inhale, drawing the elbows back behind you, shoulder blades towards each other, elbows out on the exhale. And this is getting into extension and flexion of the spine. Although we're supported here, moving through the shoulders. If you want to add on, as if I just hooked the front of your ribs on the inhale, bring the front ribs out even a little bit. You might find that a little arch in your back here. And on the exhale, as if you drew your belly button into the support underneath you. Getting into flexion on the in, uh, in, getting into flexion on the exhale and extension on the inhale. This can be as big or as small a movement as you like. If you want to get the head involved, getting into the cervical spine on the inhale, we lift the chin, and on the exhale, the chin comes down towards the chest. Again, as much or as little movement as you feel like working with your breath length, your rhythm, you don't have to match mine or anybody else's. Mm -hmm. Another three, nice and slow. Very little stillness here. Lost breath unless you're resting. And the hands come down. Any movement to soften out any tension, go ahead and do that. Mm -hmm. Now we're gonna be working a little bit more with the arms once you're rested. Taking the elbows out once again, shoulder blades towards each other, and the elbows kind of um, drawing in towards your ribs, not that they're probably going to ever get there. This is the exhale. On the inhale, you know, you're lifting those arms up. Maybe the palms, uh, the elbows come up to shoulder height, maybe above, maybe those palms come towards each other, exhaling down. So this is kind of like snow angels with a um, bend in those elbows. And once again, we're moving with the breath. The further back your elbows go and your hands, the more challenging it is in the shoulders. Now this is a controlled movement, like everything. So at any point, if I said pause, you could just stop. If that's not the case, then do less. Bigger is not better here. Body likes to feel safe, and we can do that by focusing on the breath and allowing the breath to guide the movement. Nice, another two. Any of these, you can soften your gaze, close your eyes if you'd like to. I'm gonna take those hands all the way down. Any tension you need, um, to relief, uh, release, go ahead. Come back to the breath, longer, smoother, softer breaths, and just check in. Notice how you're feeling. Notice if you need to rest a little to take that breath back to the original, longer, smoother, softer breaths. 
Mm -hmm. Coming into a twist now. So we're going to be twisting over towards the left side and we're going to be using our right hand to do that. So there's a couple of different stages. Taking it easy and the breath is always first. So the inhale is always to center. The exhale, we're going to shift that right, those right fingers down the leg and turn to the left. Inhale back to center and exhale. So we're getting a gentle twist in the upper spine here. You might notice that the back of your right ribs could even get a little lighter or lift from the support underneath you. Great place to be, especially if your shoulders are um, a little fatigued from what we've already done. If you want to add on, that right hand can come up as if you're trying to stop me from talking. And then this is the inhale, and on the exhale, we're gonna reach over towards the left. Exhaling. And we're only going as far as the breath is taking us. So we're not staying there holding our breath and getting a little further. We're really making sure that we do move with the breath. Now you can use that left hand beside you on the bed to support you if that helps. Exhaling is always the opportunity to soften or deepen that twist. And you can glance over that left shoulder. You can even glance behind you towards that support behind you, depending on the range of motion in your neck and how that feels for you. We've got another two here. Rest if you need to. And on that last exhale, we're coming back to support. Coming to the other side, left hand is on the top of the left thigh. This is the inhale, twisting to the right, exhaling, twisting and bringing the left shoulder forward a little, exhaling back. Working with your breath again, and if you need to do every other one or you want to rest at any point, go ahead and do that. That's called taking care of yourself and listening to what you need. If you want to, want to bring the arm across, that left hand comes up. This is the inhale on the exhale, we're reaching towards the right. And that can be any height. That arm can come as far or as um, less far across to the right as you like. The gaze can come over the shoulder, even back behind you, and that right hand can support the twist, so you feel a little more supported as you come across. Now again, more is not better, so longer, smoother, softer breaths. Mm -hmm. Another three here, resting if you prefer. Notice what's happening in the back of the left ribs. Notice where you feel this in your body. Last one. And we're coming all the way back to support. Take a big breath in. Exhale any tension out of your body. And I highly recommend softening your gaze, closing your eyes, and just noticing the energy level in your body. You might even notice the energy in the form of a little light buzzing through your fingertips and arms maybe all the way through your body. And you can stay here and rest for as long as you like, focusing on your longer, smoother, softer breaths. Otherwise, we're gonna come down the legs now into the feet. So if you've got blankets, make sure that they're not too tight so you can move freely. And then all we're gonna do on that right foot is flex and point as much or as little as you like. Don't worry about it being um, a little jumpy, a little jolty. On the pointing, bring the toes as close towards each other as you can without cramping. 
And on the inhale, as the toes come up, see if you can push through the ball of your feet and spread those toes really nice and wide. So the inhale, the toes are up towards your nose. Exhale, we're pointing. Mm -hmm. And notice how that feels in that right leg. Next time we come up on that inhale, we're gonna keep it there and we're gonna circle through that ankle. Now allow your whole leg to come with you here. And if it's more comfortable for you, you can take that right leg slightly out towards the right and see if that makes it a little easier. Now, as you're doing this, you might notice that the whole of your leg is moving. It's actually coming all the way up your leg into your hip. And then when you're ready, we're gonna take that round in an opposite direction. Always resting if you need to. More is not better, so start at an easy place, a movement that can be guided by the breath. Mm -hmm. Next time we come up, we'll pause. We'll take it over to the right or the left side. So if you need to adjust that leg, go ahead. The inhale, we're drawing the toes back towards you. Exhale, pointing. And this side may feel very different from the other side, no big deal. Mm -hmm. And again, on that exhale, the toes are coming towards each other, not so much that the leg cramps. And on that inhale, push through the ball of the foot as if you've kind of got high heel shoes on and um, spread those toes really as wide as you possibly can. Mm -hmm. Next inhale, we're taking that foot up and then we're circling. And this is not just through the ankle, but allow everything to come from the hip. So if you put your hand on that femur bone up here, you'll notice that there is movement in there. Resting if you need to. Longer, smoother, softer breath. And then I'm gonna come around in the opposite direction. Mm -hmm. Nicely done. Coming back to center. And then from here, we're gonna point the right foot and flex the left and go from side to side. The brain does like it when we do opposite things. <laughs> the next time you come to an inhale, you're gonna pause, bring those toes up. Make sure they're at a comfortable angle for you, whether they're further apart, that may um, feel a little bit better on your lower back or closer together may make it a bit more challenging. Hands down to support if you would like to. Any adjustments you need to make into your body, go ahead to be more comfortable. Now this is the inhale. We're gonna be moving that right leg. This is the inhale. On the exhale, we're gonna bend that right knee and take the foot to the floor. And you can manually move that right leg if that's comfortable for you, if that's more accessible. Inhaling, extend. Exhaling, flex. Mm -hmm. And that knee bend can be slight. You can keep the heel of the right foot on the bed. Or you can bring the foot up. There's no right and wrong here. We're working with our body, not against it. Noticing how this feels. And again, the size of the movement is not what we're concerned about. We want the smoothness. So the smooth extension as best as we can and that flexion in the knee. And again, if it helps you to support your upper leg, please go ahead and do that. Inhaling and exhaling. Mm 
Mm -hmm. Last one. Next exhale, we're bringing the foot up as far or as close to your seat as you like. I'm going to heel toe that right foot out a little bit further to the right. And again, the further this is away from you, the easier it's going to be in the hip. The closer towards you, the more challenging it's going to be. So you get to decide. From here, you can keep that foot on the support or come up onto the heel. And that right hand is taking either um, your thigh or in front of that knee, depending on how far away that leg is for you and how long your arms are. There's no right and wrong here. So getting into external and um, internal rotation. So on the inhale, we're taking the knee out and on the exhale, we're drawing the knee in. Inhaling and exhaling. And if you have the foot on the bed, you can roll to the outer and inner edge of that foot if that's more supportive to you. Longer, smoother, softer breath. So it really is not about the size of the movement, it's about the fluidity. Rest whenever you need to, and I highly recommend if you feel stable to close your eyes and take your awareness right into the hip joint and notice what feels comfortable here. Another couple of breaths here. And coming up to center. I'm going to heel toe that right foot in. And then from here, a little flex in that left foot too. That can help feel a little bit more supportive. Left hand can support you. And from here, we're just taking the knee out and drawing it in. Inhaling and exhaling. So this is just external rotation after the warm up of the internal and external rotation. Noticing how that feels. And if this feels okay, then consider bringing that right knee a little closer towards the left thigh. Again, rolling to the inner and outer blade of that foot. Longer, smoother, and softer breaths. And the next time we come up to center, we're gonna slide that right leg long. Any adjustments you need to make in your support, go ahead. And then we're coming to the left side, to that right leg as your support here. This is the inhale on the exhale either manually moving that leg or on the inhale and we draw that um, thigh up towards our belly that's the sorry this is the exhale inhaling lengthening exhale drawing it up inhale lengthening and you're welcome to simply bend softly into that left knee just a little Getting some um, synovial fluid through the knee as we flex and extend it. Or that foot can come all the way up, depending on what feels good in your body. There's no right and wrong way here. You're moving with your breath in a way that feels comfortable and supported underneath you. Inhaling and exhaling. You can always rest. This is not only getting into the knee, it's getting into the hip joint. Another few here, rest if you need to. Longer, smoother, softer breaths. The next time that knee comes in any amount, we're gonna keep it there. Take a few breaths, reestablish yourself if you need to readjust your body. And then we're heel towing that left foot out towards the left. Right hand is supportive here. Left hand on the top of the left thigh or towards the knee. Now you can stay on the foot coming to the outer and inner blade of the foot or you can come up onto that heel if that's comfy for you. 
Inhaling, we're taking that wider. Exhaling, we're drawing the knee in. Nice and slow and supported movement. Again, there's no momentum happening here. It is a controlled movement as much as possible. And we're moving with the breath. And again, if any movement does not feel right in your body, then please either adjust or adapt it so it does, or rest, focus on the breath, and meet us for the next movement. Very little stillness here, so we're not pushing into that, inter that top of the inhale or the bottom of the exhale. It is as fluid a movement as we can make. Next time, that knee comes up, we're going to keep it there, take the foot down and heel toe that left leg in from here. Moving in and out. Again, coming to the outer blade of that foot, longer, smoother, softer breaths. And this may feel very different on the left side. Please, moving with your body, not against it. And if this feels okay here, option to take that knee closer over towards the right thigh. The further away that left foot is from your seat, then the easier that will be in your hip. No right and wrong here, working with your body. Another two. Mm -hmm. Coming all the way back to center. And when you're ready, extending the left leg out. And then just windshield wipering those ankles from side to side. When you're ready, take a big breath in. Exhale it out. Another couple of those. Feel free to close your eyes. Notice how you're feeling. And if you feel fatigued, then maybe this is enough for today. So from here, I'm going to be coming down all the way onto my back. So you can pause this if you like. Adjust yourself if you would like to come to your back and we'll take some movements from there. Here I am all the way down on my back. If you need to be propped up a little, you wonder if it's more comfortable to have a pillow or so underneath your head, please make this as comfortable as possible. There's no right and wrong way to do this. We're gonna keep those knees bent, feet to the floor, taking the hands onto the front of our belly or hips. Take a big breath in when you're ready. Exhale it out. Uh -huh. Every exhale, feel free to close your eyes. Sink your body a little deeper into the support underneath you. From here, on an inhale, imagine that someone just picked up your belly button towards the sky a little. And there's a little arch in your back, that's the inhale as the belly lifts towards the ceiling. On the exhale, the belly draws in towards the spine and the lower back imprints into the bed. Inhaling, we lift the belly. Exhaling, we draw the belly in. And it's a very subtle movement. With your hands on your belly or the front of those hips, you might notice that you're starting to tilt the pelvis. On the inhale, the tailbone comes down towards the earth bed. And on the exhale, the tailbone lifts, tucks between the knees up towards the sky. Inhaling and exhaling. And again, we're not concerned about the size of the movement here. What we want is the control of the movement. Mm -hmm. 
and you may notice as we stay here for a little bit the movement gets a little easier and you may even be able to move a little more as the body naturally opens up so the inhale and the exhale you can use your feet on the support to help you so on the inhale the heels not that they'll move you're almost drawing your feet towards your seat and on the exhale push into the toes and that'll deepen the belly in towards the spine maybe even feeling the lightness in the tailbone and the back of the pelvis inhaling and exhaling with this movement you can stay here or we're going to start to um, bring the arms into it so the hands come down beside you so from here moving from the elbows the next time we exhale belly in towards the spine the hands will come up and then they'll draw down when the belly lifts if your breathing changes when this happens just make sure that that's longer smoother and softer this is a great place to be if you want to add on you can take the arms from the shoulders any amount overhead and coming back when we lift through the belly. Those hands can be as wide as you like. The wider they are, they may feel easier in the shoulders. We've got another three here. Last one. Hands come all the way down and come back to the breath. From here, keeping the feet on the floor, I'm going to draw that right knee in towards your belly. You can take a hold of the thigh but underneath the knee or even in front of the shin, depending on how long your arms are. And we're just drawing the right knee in towards the chest and releasing with your breath. So the inhale, the knee comes up towards the sky. Exhale, we're compressing the thigh towards the belly. You can take a little flex with that right foot. Sometimes that feels a little more supported and controlled. And then the next time that knee comes in, we're just resting at a comfortable place for you. And we're gonna circle through that right ankle. Slow and steady. And back in the opposite direction. right hand resting on or towards that knee and from here we're going to circle through that hip slow and steady it's a controlled movement and again we're not looking for the size of the movement we want the fluidity if it feels comfortable in your body you can wing the left knee a little out towards the side to counteract the movement of the right knee out towards the right and if you want to add on lengthening through the groin, that left leg can come long as you circle. Longer, smoother, softer breaths. And that movement can be bigger or smaller or you can rest. And then after this last breath, we're going to take it around in the opposite direction. might notice some clicks and clacks in there always working with your body not against it movements can be big they can be small you can even imagine moving a 
and then next exhale we're going to draw that knee in towards ourselves and then replace that left foot to the floor taking the right foot down to meet it from here drawing the left knee in with your hands without your hands your choice on the inhale the knee comes up towards the sky on the exhale the knee draws the thigh draws in towards the belly pushing the air out and you can support that with your hands depending on how long your arms are and how far away that knee is from you slow movement slow breath you can stay here working with your breath with that knee or we draw the knee in and we circle through that ankle left ankle going around as slow as you can make it and then we'll go around in the opposite direction mm -hmm. slow and steady knee drawing in towards your belly hand towards or on that left knee and we're going to circle through the knee here as if you're drawing circles in the sky but really of course the um, movement is coming from the hip joint slow and steady rest as much or as little as you need to you can wing that right knee out if that's more comfortable for you and of course you can extend that right leg out all the way to the floor or the support underneath you if that feels okay bigger is not better so working with your body and then when you're ready we'll take that in the opposite direction which may feel a little awkward to start with start small always those longer smoother and softer breaths another couple here taking it easy and then the next time that knee comes in give it a little hug right foot comes back to support underneath you knee to the sky and the left leg comes down to meet it so we're back where we started in that kind of pre-bridge position take a big breath in exhale it out nice now you can stay here your head and your shoulders supported and you can take your arms next to your hips palms down you can take your arms in a cactus or a T depending on the support you have underneath you we're going to heel toe those feet out just a little wider start with the breath longer smoother softer breaths and then we're just going to windshield wiper the knees from side to side again your head and shoulders fully supported here and depending on how this feels in your body option to take the knees a little more to one side and the opposite hip will lift again this is a very gentle and controlled movement if you want to bring that gentle twist up into your head and the back of the neck then taking the gaze opposite to the knees so you're looking away from your knees if you want a little more you can take the knees all the way over to one side gaze over the other side and that hip lift entirely the opposite hip lifts to the direction of the knees you can go from side to side or the next time your knees come over towards the right side they'll stay three breaths here on those exhales see if you can release through your 
body and soften any tension. On the next inhale, we're coming to center. If you're not already, pulse from side to side. And the option is, if it feels okay for you and the breath is easy, the knees will come to the left, gaze to the right, and hang out there for three breaths, as long as the breath is longer, smoother, and softer. On that next inhale, when you're ready, we'll take the knees all the way up to the sky. Keep the feet where they are and draw your knees in towards each other. This is constructive rest. So if this feels comfortable for you to rest in, then stay here. If you would like to take another position for relaxation, go ahead. Anytime the knees are bent when you're lying on your back, it's more um, comfortable for your lower back. So if you do want to extend your legs out, that you have a pillow that you could slide underneath your knees to allow that to be more comfortable for your lower back, go ahead. You have a more comfortable resting position on your side, on your belly. If there's anywhere else that you prefer to be more comfortable, go ahead and do that now. And as you're getting sorted into a more comfortable place, I'm going to come up to a seat to guide you through a relaxation. So settling yourself in to the most comfortable place that you can find. The more comfort we have in the body, the less distraction we have in our minds. Wherever you are, take a full breath in. Exhale it out long and slow like a sigh. Another few breaths just like that. Mm -hmm. Soften the gaze or close the eyes if you haven't already. And notice the support underneath you. Allow your body to settle a little deeper into that support. Your breath goes back to the easiest breath you can find. And from here, drift your awareness simply to around your chest and heart space, noticing how your body responds to the breath as it comes in and out. There's a slight expansion of the inhale and a softening and letting go quality of the exhale. The inhale is always just a little bit of effort as we bring the breath in and the exhale is this amazing opportunity to relax and release. Imagine that with every exhale you can allow the bones in your body to settle deeper into the support underneath you. Every exhale, giving yourself permission to let go even more. Every exhale, feeling the muscles of your body start to loosen and soften. And 
You might even start to notice tension that you didn't know you held starting to dissolve like sugar in water. Follow the soft wave of breath in your body. Every exhale, an opportunity to release something else. Finally, allowing that exhale to also release the thoughts. So from the top of the exhale all the way down to the bottom of the exhale, your thoughts simply relax and feel further away like a radio in the next room. soft wave of breath in your body, the easy exhale where you allow yourself to release everything. If you find yourself thinking or drawn off into thoughts, no big deal. When you notice, just follow that wave of breath in your body. Allowing each exhale to relax you even more, to let go even more. And you can stay here resting for as long as you like. Those soft waves of breath lulling you into a deep rest. Or if you would like to finish your practice Simply start to notice the support underneath your body, all the different surfaces and textures, softnesses. Start to fill your whole body with your awareness from the tip of your toes to the crown of your head and your fingertips. Noticing how you feel. What's on your mind? What's in your beautiful heart? And how your physical body feels. From wherever you are, Start to take a few mindful breaths, 
a little more conscious as if you are breathing your whole body. A little deeper, inhale, allow that exhale to be soft like a sigh. Keeping a quality of calm, maybe a quiet if you found some. Bring your hands into a gesture that you would like to close with, maybe hands stacked over your heart in prayer position or anything else that you're drawn to. And take a moment here to thank yourself for just following along today as much or as little as felt right for you. On one of your next exhales, drawing your chin down towards your chest. And just thanking yourself, honoring yourself. From my heart to yours, namaste. And taking your time, starting to bring soft movements back into your body and awakening your body in your own way. Thank you for practicing today.